Hello, once again, my name is Enoch Garcia. I am the founder of Honest Accounting Group, a QuickBooks consulting and bookkeeping firm. And today we're discussing how to generate an accounts payable summary report. Do not forget to subscribe for more QuickBooks training. And towards the end, I will have a few tips for better reporting. Let's get started. So if you saw my accounts receivable video, you will have, you know, there are two options. One is you can find the report via search or through reports. Let's go to reports. And if you have it in your favorites, you will find it in your favorites here. Otherwise, you can go to what you owe and you will find it here. Okay, so let's look at what's going on here. Today, I have this aging report as of August 15th. And just like I explained in accounts receivable, up here you will have um, these 30 days really shows how it starts incrementing so this is showing one of 30 days invoices that are due past due one of 30 days past due 31 to 60 and so on if I were to change it to 45 days it will do increments of 45 and so on so I'm going to leave it back to 30 and if you want to see more assuming you have if you had an amount here, you can do six periods and you will see it dispersed between wherever it belongs. I'm going to go back to four. Okay, let's look at a couple examples. If I look at this current one, I'm going to hit open. We have a, a bill date of July 18th and a due date of August 17th. So is it past due? No, we have two days till it's past due, 817, 815. If I go back and now I open this one, we have a bill <clears throat> with a due with a bill date of July 13th and a due date of July 23rd. We're in August 15th, so we're 23 days past due on this bill. This is a quick summary on the accounts payable aging summary. Um, there, like I mentioned in the accounts receivable, it's very important to reconcile your books. Uh, you can, you could have paid a bill with uh, a debit card. You could have paid it with cash. Um, if you haven't entered it in the books, your reports will be wrong. So once you reconcile the books, you will catch any errors. You will catch anything missing or anything that shouldn't be there. Once again, my name is Enoch Garcia from Honest Accounting Group, and I encourage you to subscribe for more uh, QuickBooks training. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you know somebody that needs to, um, would like to see this or, or needs to see this, please feel free to share. Once again, Enoch Garcia from Honest Accounting Group. Thank you.